Hey rookies, it's Hannah here. Today I am going to show you how to apply the perfect red lip. I know sometimes it can be pretty scary figuring out how to apply red lipstick. You don't want to look like a clown, but I guarantee if you follow these rules, you won't look like a clown. You'll just look really, really awesome and powerful. And everybody will just part ways when you walk down the street. That's a guarantee. So. <laughs> to start off, I put on just a tiny bit of lip balm. Make sure that my lips weren't super dried out or anything. And now I'm going to use lip liner. This one is red, however, if you don't have a red lip liner, if you don't want to go through the trouble of matching your lip liner with your lipstick, you can buy just from like Wet n Wild for like 99 cents at the drugstore. Just get a lip balm that matches, or a lip liner that matches the natural color of your lips. So just like a beigey, pinky, whatever. This is just because the waxes in lip liner will help keep your lipstick from bleeding out onto your skin. It's kind of like drawing a border around your lips and just keeping it all nice and tight inside there so it doesn't go all over your face. So, let's get started. You just sketch along the lines of your mouth, natural lines. I'm gonna grab my mirror here. Obviously, your lips are differentiated from the rest of your skin around your mouth, so you should be able to see that general outline. But just sketch with really light, short strokes. Take as much time as you need. Don't try and make your lips look bigger than they are, or create some sort of crazy shape. Just fill in the edges. If you're like me though and there is some sort of misshape along your lip line, like I have a scar on the bottom here so it creates a bit of a dent, just go over and smooth that over just to create a natural line but don't extend beyond the lines of your lip. You're not trying to make yourself look like you have Angelina Jolie lips if you don't. It's all about just accenting what you already have. So now that it's all outlined, you're going to actually fill it in. And this gives the actual lipstick something to stick to so that it doesn't fade the rest of the day. Because you notice sometimes people, they'll have their lip liner on and then they put their lipstick on and then all of a sudden their lipstick fades off but they just have this line around their mouth yeah if you fill it in completely you won't have that weird line and like I said this works just as good with a lip liner the, it's the color of your lips, it doesn't have to be a red, it just has to you're just creating a nice base for the lipstick to go on top of pretty filled in there. Now I'm going to take a lip brush and you can buy lip brushes at the drugstore for a couple bucks or a beauty supply store like Sally's Beauty Supply. I just find that it's easier to put lipstick on with a brush because sometimes if you put it on straight out of the tube the shape it just if you have a weird lip shape or like me you can tend to it'll go all everywhere so it's easier with a brush it's just like paint by numbers you've already filled in with your lip liner, so now you're just going over everywhere you put the lip liner. So just fill up your 